Space clutter. It's a real problem. You see, we've been launching things into space for more than 60 years now. It's getting pretty chaotic up there. This means the risk of collision between debris, satellites, and especially human spacecraft is becoming a growing concern. Just think about how dependent we become on satellites for communication, navigation, and weather, as well as our safety and security. We need to keep track of what's going on up there, and that's where biology and neuroscience can help. I'm Dr. Greg Cohen, a researcher from the Marx Institute for Brain, Behavior, and Development at Western Sydney University, and I'm going to tell you how this little camera, inspired by nature, is helping to make space a safer place. This camera isn't your normal everyday camera. It works less like the camera on your phone and much more like the human eye. Normal cameras take pictures, producing the same amount of data even when nothing is changing, making them great for holiday snaps, but bad for doing real-world tasks. Because that's not how biological vision works at all. Biology only sees what it needs to see. When we first put these cameras on a telescope, we found that we could easily do a range of things that were really difficult with conventional astronomy cameras, such as seeing and tracking satellites, not just at night, but during the day and in real time. And since then, we've discovered all sorts of exciting possibilities, from being able to image whilst we move the telescope to being able to see through gaps in clouds. The biological inspiration also makes these cameras low power, meaning they're perfect for use in small satellites like CubeSats. This technology, developed here in Australia, has the potential to greatly improve our ability to track satellites and debris in space. These cameras are also experimental prototypes. They weren't designed to look at space at all. So imagine what we can do once we build them specifically for space imaging. Knowing where objects are in space is a matter of national and international importance because it lets us predict and hopefully avoid collisions, leading to a safer space for all of us.